Welcome back to our turkey series. If you are new around here, I'm Heather, this is Brady, and we've recently sold everything we own to travel the world with our two daughters, Alexa and Chloe. We are currently on a road trip traveling around the beautiful country of Turkey, exploring its diverse scenery and unique history. In our last video, we began our road trip around Turkey by making a brief visit to the small and picturesque town of Bergama before continuing our drive to Bursa. In Bursa, we tried some of the local pastries and enjoyed a Turkish breakfast in an old Ottoman village. And today we hit the road again, heading to Cappadocia. It's a 620 kilometer drive from Bursa to Cappadocia, which took us about seven hours. We have been shocked by how much good food we find next to gas stations, and we are constantly amazed at how beautiful the landscape is here in Turkey. Chloe, out your window, do you see that mountain full of caves? Yes, see another one. Chloe, what Wait. do you see? A camel! Oh, camels like llamas. <laughs> do they make the same sound as llamas? Sure. We made it! Did we make it to Cappadocia? Cappadocia is famous for its thousands of ancient caves. And this week we actually get to sleep inside of one. It's a cave. We're gonna live in a cave. This is so nice. This slipper is cool. <laughs> what do you think, girls? Have you ever slept in a cave before? No. No. Do you check under the bed for bears? No. <laughs> what did you find, Chloe? Slippers. <laughs> oh, it's for the girls. What? You want any? Thanks, buddy. Chloe, that's a closet. What are you doing? Going in the closet. Ah, I'm in jail. I can't get out. Ah, help me, help me. Another amazing thing Cappadocia is famous for is its hot air balloons. Over 100 hot air balloons fly over the city nearly every morning. While we are here, we will do our best to see all of what Cappadocia has to offer, but there is so much to see that there will always be more to explore. <laughs> you brought all your toys. Also, I'll start. You never know when you're going to restaurant. <laughs> so I think they turned it all around. That rug should be on the floor. People in this part of the world like to put rugs on walls as decoration. Yeah. Hello, my name is Abby. I'm an alligator. This is Crocky the Crocodile. We are dancing. <laughs> Alright guys, I think it's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed. I'm yeah. exhausted. I'm pretty sure I just heard one flying above us. Do you guys want to go see? Okay. Let's go look at the hot air balloons. Come see! Whoa! Look at that! Oh, buddies, I'm so excited. See how they light up? They look like they're on fire. Do they pop the balloons when they're in space? No, they don't pop the balloons when they're in space. That's weather balloons. I never feel so warm in my whole life. Oh, good because it's freezing out. Look, they look like they're li lighting up. That's crazy. Hi. Hi. Good morning. It's so early. But I can't even turn my head with this hood on. Are you glad I woke you up, Alexa? Yeah. Wait, no, I woke up myself and you didn't wake me up. Yeah, that's true. So do you want to get up early every morning to see this? Girls, isn't it crazy that this happens every single day here? What? Yeah. As long as it's not too windy out, they fly the air balloons every single day. Yeah. What is it, Alexa? Is that? What is it? It's a hot air balloon. <laughs> Mommy, look at that hot air balloon.
Chloe, your outfit today is awesome. It's probably the cutest you've ever been. Most fashionable. It's your jammies plus everything we could find in like a 30 second <laughs> window of time for him. Oh, you cold. Yeah, let's go, let's go warm up, up, okay? Let's go get warm up. Was it worth it? No. no. What? <laughs> you changed your mind? It got too cold? We came to your store two years ago. And we remember we bought um, a, bag like a bag like that, yeah. yes. Oh. I know you. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I know you. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I love you. We love your store. It's yes. so beautiful. Chokuzen. Mm -hmm. well, would you like to drink something? Tea or coffee? Um, chai would be great. Chai? Chai. Okay. The chocolate. So, a couple years ago, we came into this shop and I actually got one of my favorite backpacks here. We just love the store. The people it's were so, so nice. Everything is so beautiful. So, girls, let me tell you all of these bags and everything that they've made everything out of. They made out of carpet? Yep, old carpet. Yes. Isn't that so cool? That's so amazing. It's so beautiful. Hey, look, oh, so funny. she's your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? So we were here two years ago. He had a picture of us that he posted on our in, on his Instagram, and he remembered us, which is awesome. Let me show you something. Oh, oh, Chloe. Put your arm through there. Uh. <laughs> show daddy. <laughs> so oh. <laughs> Isn't that cool, buddy? He made that. He made that. It's for you. What? <laughs> Chloe, what do you say? Say te chocolate. Come on. That's super cute. That's really cute. <laughs> you like that it's one? Pretty, isn't it? So it's very common for a shop owner to offer tea when you're in their shop looking around. They're just so nice and it's just part of the Turkish hospitality. Can you show me? Buddy, that's beautiful. Oh man, that's a cool star. Put your arm through. Like, put your arm through. Like, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Oh. Are you gonna look at the mirror? Oh, Chloe, that looks so good. So <gasps> nice. Oh. It's, so nice. it's so crazy, and I feel like we can't really capture the true beauty of this area of the world. It's just, it's hard to put into words. The people here are the nicest people In that we've ever library. met. <laughs> yeah. The scenery is so beautiful. It's just, I feel like I, it kind of takes my breath away and I lose words. I lose my ability to communicate what I'm feeling because this really is just such a magical place. And I don't know, we just love it here better so than much. Disney World? Better than Disney World, <laughs> much better than Disney World. What do you see? A camel, a camel and a pony. A camel and a pony. They're so small. Of course they are. They're ponies. <laughs> They're tiny. <laughs> Do you want to ride on a camel or on a donkey? Horse. 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 Pony. <laughs> a pony. Pony, 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 pony. More than a camel? So we have walked around this whole part of the city looking for this specific restaurant because two years ago Brady and I came here and absolutely loved it. It has amazing food and amazing view and we are so we happy that we found it. We sat right spot. here yeah. Yeah. and yeah. yes we did two years ago. We sat right here and enjoyed this beautiful view. <laughs> I feel like it's been long enough that we shouldn't be jet lagged, but I still feel we like still we're feel really a lot jet lagged. We got up super early this morning. <laughs> we did to watch the those balloons. balloons. Can you show me what you have? My favorite spots yeah. are the blue spots. Wasn't that so nice of him to give that to you? <laughs> so good. How long have you been waiting to eat that again? This exact meal. I've been looking forward to this exact meal since the last time we were here. <laughs> it's just the best thing ever. So good. They have the best rice and turkey. Mm. Like, I don't think I fully appreciated that last time, but coming back, I mean, the rice is just so, so good. Chloe, do you like having kitties around the table when we eat? 
There's lots of cats in Cappadocia. Did they say Cappadocia? <laughs> <laughs> This morning we have come to Uchisar, which is a little town next to where we're staying in Gorome. We actually really love this town it's and <laughs> we kind of wish we would have stayed here instead just because it's so peaceful and beautiful. It just has a really nice vibe to it. But this morning we are going to actually climb Uchisar Castle, um, which is really cool cave structure up on the mountaintop. Did you guys see the camels? Pretty cool, huh? But I like the ponies better. <laughs> that pole is probably to put like a lamp up into. Like a candle? Yeah. How about this one? That pole. You take Alexa, you take a guess. Probably for a pot for fire. Yeah, look above on the ceiling. Oh. You see how the ceiling is darker there? It smokes. Yeah, good job, buddy. Look how these holes are for. I don't know, maybe storage, little cubby holes. <laughs> a good place to sit. Can you imagine living here? Nope. Isn't that crazy? Girls, I love how curious you are. You love to explore, don't you? Mm -hmm. Hey, look. This is my shortcut. Let's, 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 let's take a shortcut. Yeah, yeah, I got her. Hey, girls. Do you realize that all of these stairs are brand new? So when they lived here, they would not have had the stairs. They would have had to climb up the side of the mountain to get up here. Did they put in stairs? They probably had a ladder system or something. I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> don't get too close to that. That's probably a ladder. That's probably a ladder. I don't know what that was. Whoa. This would have been a nice house to live in. Yeah. It's nice and cool. There's a cage up there. Look. Cool. Oh my goodness. Is that a big hole? That's a deep hole. Yeah. Why do you think there's so many holes? I don't know. I bet it's food storage. Maybe water storage. Like if there was ever like a flood or rain. Yeah, if a rain maybe it caught the water. They could save it for drinking water. Yeah. Pretty good views from up here. I might have to put you in there. And right. come back in a couple days. A couple days? <laughs> why? <laughs> Time out. Time out. Alexa, what's your theory on why they decided to live so high up off the ground? Because I think um, the Romans wouldn't be able to get up so high. For anybody, if anybody was attacking them, then they would have the upper hand. Good idea. It's crazy, as, as far as you can see, there are caves and places people lived. I really just wanna say that you girls are really impressive. We're like practically dragging you out of here. You're so inquisitive. <laughs> I know, they just wanna know what everything is for and it's pretty amazing to watch their curiosity. Wow, Alexa, you can fit in here too. Maybe this was a kitchen because there's so much fire smoke. And like, look at all of the shelving and stuff. Oh yeah. So those round, the round oh, stones yeah. are to oh, throw yeah. at people that are attacking. Oh, you were right. Yeah. Who said crazy? that? It was for, to attack. Thanks, you? buddy. Good job. Now I'm thinking all of those holes up top were to store all of these to throw. But man, that would do some serious damage. Oh my goodness! We have made it to the hot air balloons this morning. We are so excited. Me and Brady have done this once before and it was the most magical experience. And now we get to share with the girls and we could not be more excited. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next episode in Cappadocia as we explore the city from the air.